Hello and welcome to our Magic Jelly Bean tutorial series. Today I will be walking you through how to get your mini starboard to run the dip switch demo. By the end of the demo, you will be able to use the four switches on your carrier board to display four different numbers. First thing we need to do is make sure you have GoIn EDA downloaded. You will be able to locate both GoIn EDA and the GoIn MCU development environment under the software tab on magicjellybean.org. Once you have the software installed, you will want to grab the Ministar GitHub project. You can access the GitHub page from the home page or by going to our demo section and clicking any of the demo project links. Once you are on the GitHub page, navigate to the main Ministar GitHub and click the green code button. This will allow you to download the entire repository and all of the files and projects you will need for all of our demos. After you have the GitHub repo downloaded on your machine, let's navigate to the dip switch project doc file. This will have instructions on how to set up your hardware, how to edit pins using floor planner, and how to program the led.bin file. In this demo, you can use four dip switches on the carrier board to control seven segment digital tubes to achieve the cycle display of numbers one to four. Using this hardware pin table, you can see where to connect your jumper cables. Once you have the wires connected and your board is plugged into your machine, let's go ahead and open up GoIn EDA and load up the dip switch demo project, which can be found here. Once the target device is loaded, you can check the floor planner to make sure the correct pins are connected. You can also use the floor planner to change which pins are programmed for your constraint file. If you are using our project file and connected the pins according to the table, the project is already set up and you will not have to change anything within the floor planner. Once the floor planner is set, let's go ahead and click synthesize and then place and route. To show the correct numbers on your digital tube, the correct design needs to be modified by opening the led.uvprojx file, which can be found in the keel led project folder here. Once you open the led.uvprojx file, you can edit the digits which show on the digital tube by editing within the main.c folder here. Go through main.c and make sure all of the GPIO registers are set correctly according to the demo doc on the GitHub repo. Once the correct GPIO registers are updated, go ahead and save that file. This will update the led.bin file within your project. Next, we will want to go back to Go in EDA, and it's time to program your mini star board. Click Program Device, then select your device. You will want to choose MCU mode for the access mode. And for the operation, let's go ahead and choose Firmware, Erase, and Program. For the file name under Programming Options, you should already have the correct FPGA LED.FS file populated. For the binary file, you'll want to navigate through your Ministar repo folders to look for the updated led.bin folder. Once those are selected, click Save, then go ahead and program your board. Once the board is programmed successfully, Go ahead and turn on those switches one by one. You'll see them show numbers one through four, corresponding with the correct switch number you coded in the led.bin file. If you run into any bugs or snags while going through any of the demos, be sure to post on the issues page for the Ministar board. This will make sure we haven't missed anything, or if there is an issue, we can go ahead and fix it. I also encourage you to post your project experience on our Reddit page so you can share your findings and check out what others are able to do with their mini star boards. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the dip switch demo tutorial.